I think some people would like to see the result of my high voltage torture test on the UT61E. You can see here right now, I have it on the volts DC and it's reading hertz, hertz, hertz. It's dead everywhere except on the current. I don't even know if that works. I'm not even going to bother to try, but here I'll just leave it on so you can see what's going on. Turn on my insulation tester here. And we'll turn it up to what I had it set to when I fried this. So what's going on inside of this thing when I do this torture test? So nice close-up of the selector, uh, selector pads there. I'll turn on my tester again, put it up to 2,500 volts, and let's turn it on. And you should see a nice little bit of sparking going on on the... So that's what destroyed the chip. Too bad. Oh well. It was a nice multimeter while it lasted. My fault. But that tells you something about why you should have why you should have input protection on the multimeters. There's only a couple of PTCs on here. Oops, sorry. Only a couple of PTCs on here. There is no spark gap here. If these things had been installed, this meter still would have been alive. I know it's outside of its specifications, but uh, I think that uh, 2,500 volts is not something you um, might not encounter just walking across a rug and touching the wrong thing on your multimeter. It could have fried the chip anyway. So that's what killed my UT61E. Now, the question is, uh, it killed the UT61E. What will it do to a Bryman BM869? Uh, I don't know, you might think I'm crazy to try this, but let's give it a shot. I mean, this meter is supposed to be built to uh, much, higher, much, much higher standards, so let's turn it on to volts here. Uh, let's put it just into straight volts. Let's turn on my tester. It's at 500 volts. You'll see there's no problem with 500 volts. It measures it correctly. Turn that off, put it to 1,000 volts. Turn that on, no problem. It measure, measures that correctly. Turn that off, put it to 2,500 volts. And again, no problem. It's clamping it down, 1,800 volts is what it will do. So let's take it to the extreme. If my Digitech uh, DT2843R will take the voltage, this should be able to take the voltage too, right? 5,000 volts, let's give it a shot. And again, no problem. It's holding it, no problem. Turn this off. We'll go back to 500 volts and see that it reads the voltage correctly again. And you can see no harm done. So, this can't take 2,500 volts on the input because they did not bother to protect it correctly. This thing, $10 less, yeah, sure, it's a little bit less accurate. Doesn't have PC connection. Uh, it's only 4,000 count, but this took 2,000, no, this took 5,000 volts input without any problem. And so that's what happened to my UT61E. Not enough input protection.